So this video is for all these folks who are having issues with the DS4 app. So I know a lot of you guys, you know, got the DS4 app recently. And uh, some people have been reporting to me that they've been having some issues with the app not working. So sometimes it's, it's, it's a simple fix, right? So I'm just gonna go over some of the major issues that um, some of you have been having with the DS4 app and basically how to go ahead and fix some of those issues. All right, so I have my DualSense Edge plugged in to do it to the app. Um, if you have any issues with the app, here's how to fix them. So, number one. So some people don't do this, and this is something that you have to do. So whenever you get the actual um, app, I'm running 2.4.2 right now, right? That's the latest version that you have at the time of this recording. So some people get the app and they won't, like they, they, they haven't like installed the drivers. So whenever you first install the app, it's gonna ask you to install the drivers. Now you have to install those drivers for it to work. If you don't install the drivers, it will not work. So there are two drivers that you have to have. So this one, this is the first driver right here. So VIG and bus driver. So you have to download and install this one. Uh, HID, HID driver. You have to also download these drivers. So it'll prompt you to download the drivers. When you're first installing the application, you need to download it for it to begin to work. All right, so when you go to controllers, so this is my controller. It's gonna bring up the controller. And obviously you can change it around. You can even change like what color the controller is. If you want it to be a white controller, red controller, you can make it whatever color you want. So I have mine as a, a red controller, a cosmic red controller. So you can make it like Nova pink, like whatever color you want, you could change this. So when you go home, this is where you use to change your back button. So you can map your back button. So you can say back left, back right. You can map it to different um, different parts. Obviously, I have mine mapped. Uh, so mine, sorry, I think I have my profile on. So mine's mapped to the back button. So all my back buttons work. Even my function buttons, you can use my function buttons because it's mapped to uh, exactly what I put it on here to be mapped to. So if your back button is not working, another thing that you need to do is that you need to go here. So when you go settings, so go in, um, Sorry, when you go like at the top, right? You don't have to go anywhere. Once you go to the top, you notice that it says dual sock, dual top four, Xbox 360 and off. So if this is off, it won't work. So people have been having issues where they could they log into the game and their control is not working. They're like, okay, oh, what's happening? My control is not working. This is probably what they did. I had mine on Xbox 360 for a while, but my understanding is that the Xbox 360 simulator, it gives you a, a delay. So a lot of people have been complaining to me as well, like you have not seven seven one, your controller is lagging. So this might actually be the main reason why your controller is lagging is because you have it on the wrong simulator. So make sure you use DualShock 4 simulator because I, that one works the best and it has no lag at all. So I can't think of anything else that you need to do in terms of to make the controller work. Those are the two of the main things that will work. If the controller is not working, what you need to do is that you need to reinstall the software. So go back into your Steam delete the software, remove the software, restart the computer, and then reinstall it, and then restart the computer again. Sometimes that works as well, because sometimes there's a bug with the software. That's probably the reason why it's not working. So something else I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys the software. It's because software I'm showing you right now is called HID USB-F. So this is a great software that you can use if you will need to overclock your controller. So if you're having issue with the controller not being responsive enough, you could go here and you could overclock the controller. So, and this will allow your controller to be a lot more responsive. So I overclock my controller just to kind of remove all the input lag because there can be a little bit of lag whenever you use like a software like um, DSX or any other software because you're using a simulated software, right? So in order for this to work, you're gonna go here. So you're gonna go here and put it on filter on device. So this needs to be on. I don't know why it's not on right now. So filter on device. Uh, so I'm going to remove this. I'm, I'm going to remove the uh, the service right now. So, uh, no. Okay, I think I may have set the wrong device. So go here, select all. Once you select all, you're going to look for the one that says DualSense Edge. So this is my DualSense Edge controller. Obviously, my Edge has filter on device. But I'm going to remove it just to show you guys how to do the overclocking. So, and just click restart. Yeah, so basically right now it's running at, usually run between four to six, right? That's what it runs at. So you can change the rate. So once you put filter on device, 
you go here and you can put it to 1000 and then you normally it's on default like if it has no overclock it's at default so put it at 1000 filter on device click on the device which is this right here install service press open just allow it to run it's fine and then you're going to click restart once you click restart it's going to go back down to one so that means it's running at one millisecond so this will help your controller make your control as fast as possible so if you have any other issues with the controller let me know in the comment section and i'll be sure to help you out if it's still not working uh just message me as well i'll be sure to respond to your messages just to kind of help you out if you're running any issues so uh until the next video make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can find your way back in case you need more videos and more support um if you have not 771 for now i'll see you in the next video and for now peace